Today we will discuss about top 30 interview questions for this Java development. So the first question is what is immutable class? How we will create immutable class without final keyword? So this is the common interview question which will be asked for the most of the interviewer like what is immutable class? How we will create without final keyword? The second question is like uh, write a program to explain all the OOPS concepts so we have uh, like uh, polymorphism API abstraction polymorphism inheritance capsulations and all so we need to write a one program there we can explain all this OOPS concept the next question is what will happen if we store custom object in tree set or tree map so we have a collection framework we set we have tree set and tree map so if I'll store some of the custom object, so what will happen? Either we will use tree set or tree map. So mostly tree set will have a unique data and tree map will store the duplicate data based on the key and value. So we need to write the scenarios where we have to store custom object in the tree set and tree map. The next next question is like uh, write a string class is immutable or not. So uh, how we will create a string class and what is immutable or not. So either a string is immutable or not. Also let me know like uh, a string buffer builders and all are immutable or not. Then difference between IO and NEO string. When to use IO, when to use NEO and all. What is the disadvantage of IO string? So this is related, these two questions are related for the file input string. And the next question is what is service locator design pattern so some of the interview i will ask and consider design pattern interview questions so like a service locator design pattern what is design pattern which you have used in your project like singleton do factory and others whatever then our next questions they will ask like difference between factory design pattern and abstract design pattern when to use factory, when to use abstract, in which project you worked on this factory design pattern and abstract design patterns and all. The next question they will ask like what is a proxy design pattern? When to use proxy design pattern? So these all are the design pattern interview questions. Design pattern which is a part of gang of four design pattern. And then the next question they will ask what are what all are the pattern used by spring so what all are the pattern we are using in spring while we are developing any spring or a spring boot application so what type of pattern we are working either design patterns and all so the next question is what is pull mechanism and push mechanism when to use pull when to use push either we have a github and all in that what is the advantage of disadvantage of hibernate when we are using hibernate when we can't use hibernate and all so there will be some uh, advantage and disadvantage will be there while we connecting with the hibernate ORM. so we need to consider the disadvantage point when we have a native sql in hibernate and why we have to use the jdbc so this is all related for this jdbc hibernate interview questions and uh, how to call procedure in hibernate so this is the next question is how to resolve n plus one problem in hibernate and then what is synchronous and asynchronous communication either in rest template kafka while we are working or you are working in that so in that cases when you use synchronous when to use asynchronous what is the difference between both then what is the difference between absolute path and relative path and what if order of logging level so we have a loggers which need to be enabled in this application so that we can debug info and trace the application so how we are creating a loggers what are the logger level is there where we need to declare and all so the next question is how to configure connection pool in express server how you got or get a object of that so connection pooling which is used for this uh, while uh, 
how we will create a connection pool in, in our application server now the next question is difference between flat transaction and distributed transaction while we need to communicate from the database and all so we have a transactions business logic which need to be implemented in service layer so what is flat what is distributed transaction and that next question related for this rest so what is a trace method so what is trace method in http and then the next question how to raise uh, an event in your application so how you will raise the event in an application uh, in your application the next question when when are working multiple environment so how you will manage the db credentials in your so suppose if you have three to four environment as there like qa dev and others so how you will manage the database configuration or credential in your application and how you will resolve the conflict in git so suppose if you are pushing any data in this git application git uh, server so how you will conflict uh, resolve the conflict if some data is already showing conflict and all the next question is how you are making your war file and how you are deploying and the next question is what is rollback policy if deployment got failed so if any deployment will fail what is the rollback and how you will resolve this the next question is what all are the steps to resolve the production issue and the next question is how you are managing your team so they will ask some of the uh, management of team levels and all how you are doing this and the next question is how you will involve and design so we have high level design low level designs and all so mostly they will ask while you are working of any application so how you are creating a, either a spring boot microservice or uh, any devops related project uh, you are working for that so how you are creating the level of design so we have high level low level design so how you are creating where you are getting and what are the tools you are using for that so these all are the interview questions which is asked for one of the interview company uh, one of the company uh, so that's why i collected these all so we have a top 30 interview questions which is uh, given by this experience level of interview either fresher and experience of zero to five years of experience yeah thank you